Ti Yawa, U.S. President Joe Biden under hot fire for his latest action. See what he did for Tunubu that shocked everyone in court today. My people, you know, um, Joe Biden actually did what he felt that as a president he's supposed to do. You understand? He did what he felt that is needful. You okay? So that which he did is now what is now attracting uh, attention that what is Joe Biden up to? Does it mean that Joe Biden has, you know, has withdrawn his, uh, his sanction? It is a sanction on Tunubu or decision to withdraw Tunubu's, uh, to, to, to withdraw his action on, uh, on the plan to ban Tunubu uh, from entering the U.S.? Because that was his initial plan. But this very action of Joe Biden today in court actually surprised everyone and made everyone to start believing that it's like something is now fishy. Tunubu has done some the unbelievable. <laughs> you understand? Let's take the content. This is Evening News. Several supporters of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, have condemned U.S. President Joe Biden after it was revealed that a presidential team would attend the swearing-in of Bola Tunubu. The swearing-in of Tunubu, the president-elect of Nigeria. Many foreign figures, including heads of state, have received invites from the Nigerian government to attend Tunubu's inauguration. The former governor of Lagos State will take the oath of office as Nigerian 16th president on May 29th in Eagle Square in Abuja. The nation's seventh transition ceremony is expected to include former presidents, diplomats, heads of international organizations, well-known Nigerians and representatives of foreign governments and agencies. In a statement published on the White House website on May 22nd, Biden disclosed a nine-person delegation for the occasion. The group, which will be led by Marcia L. Forge, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, is said to be a representation of the U.S. government's dedication to upholding goodwill and relations with Nigeria, according to the announcement. The statement he made drew a lot of attention, and many Nigerians used the comments section to express their opinion. Many supporters of the Labour Party and PDP presidential candidates have taken to Twitter to voice their disagreement with the U.S. president's choice. Angry Nigerians on Twitter blasted President Biden for making this move. Um, to be frank, Biden have taken a biased move. What do I mean by biased move? At first, it was Joe Biden that was um, pushing the protest against Tunubu's inauguration. You understand? He was the first person to push the protest. And two, he said that it will not happen in his own eyes that Tunubu of all people will be sworn in. And again, he, he promised that he's going to do all within his power to make sure that Tunubu's um, crime file is published. He was the reason that made the uh, U.S. doctor uh, Guterman uh, to start demanding for that uh, very file until he start, later changed his mind and said no, that is not going to be this it anymore. So, why? So, that's why you saw that many Nigerians are now acting very tough, saying what 
happened what has really gotten to joe biden and all of that you know <laughs> the story is becoming more interesting by the day all right let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take what's your opinion and what your advice on this may be don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you